Koopa and Rockstar Slushy. Um, I guess same thing as regular chalupa. Just for cheese. In a shell. Oh, she's pretty good. Tastes like a rock star. Just frozen. Good job, Taco Bell. Don't get rid of it. Hey, guys. It's me, Francis, with a report of the day. Uh, food rager. Review rager. We're here today to do something that no one else on YouTube has done. And we're pretty excited to do it. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to local news, or global news, or international news, or whatever news you follow, uh, you have heard that the folks over at Burger King have made a proposal with the folks over at McDonald's to create a brand new burger to celebrate International Peace Day and they're calling it the McWhopper. So we got the Crown and the Clown and they've decided to come together to try and bring awareness about International Peace Day and I think that's amazing. The problem is the guys over at McDonald's, they're wet blankets or I should say they're lead balloons. They're not interested in doing this. And I thought to myself, well, Francis, report of the day, review rager, you owe responsibility International Peace Day to make this happen. Or as I should say, do it myself so that people could enjoy seeing what a McCopper would look like. So what we did is we went to Burger King, the king of the burgers, the monarchy that rules the burger nation, and we got a Whopper. And we went over to the core gesture of burgers, and we got a Big Mac. And we're gonna put them together. But now, I know what you're saying, Review Rager, what about the individual burgers themselves? Are you gonna talk about that at all? And what is, what is there to say that hasn't been said before? The Whopper is big. The Whopper is big. Uh, it's a classic sandwich. It's the one that you expect. Uh, it's got all the vegetables and the uh, condiments, the beef. Our weight is often framed as something that we have control over and something that determines how much willpower we have. I've heard people say that they dislike fat people because they think that the very fact that they're fat means they don't have any self-control. But actually, the reality is that we have far less control over our own weight than we've been told. And being fat doesn't say anything about a person's willpower or self-control. So we're taught growing up that weight loss or weight gain is very simple. It's calories in versus calories out. You need to eat less and exercise more and boom, weight loss. But that's actually a massive oversimplification and in fact it causes harm to a lot of people who try to adhere to this false concept to the detriment of their health. But science types the angry internet commenter. Sorry but science actually agrees with me here. About 60 to 80 percent of your calories out are burned just by your existing and this can vary widely for different people. This is called basal or resting metabolism and you have zero control over this. <laughs> At this point, I imagine people are saying, but what about calories in? You still have control over that. And yes, you do, to some extent. First of all, not all food is accessible to all people. But also, even when folks do have access to whatever food they want, everyone's caloric needs are different. And forcing people to eat fewer calories than they need has been scientifically proven to be ineffective in the long run, even if you've heard anecdotal evidence that says otherwise. Most people who diet gain all the weight back and more within five years. Plus, it's honestly irresponsible to put this pressure on people to consume as few calories as possible when we know that that contributes to eating disorders. So I can already hear the straw man arguments against me. Riley says that exercise is pointless and we can eat whatever we want. She wants everyone to get fat and die. No, that's not true. I know people are still gonna say it in the comments, but it's not true. Exercise is healthy. I would encourage everyone to exercise if they're able to, but it's not a good way of losing weight. Hello again. 
So today I'm going to a new doctor for the first time. Yay for me! Why am I going to the doctor? Because I was told that it'd be much easier for me to get mental health assistance if I had a referral from my GP ahead of time. But Christine, what's the problem? Just go to the doctor and get your referral and everything will be fine. That's not how it always works for fat people, my friend. So basically, I just really need help managing my anxiety and depression. Mm-hmm. Have you tried losing weight? I'm sorry? Well, if you lost weight, you'd be less anxious about going out in public, and then people wouldn't make so many comments about you being fat, and then you might be less depressed. I don't... I don't think that... But have you tried it, though? No? Ah! So there you go. You never know. So... But I'm gonna do this anyway, because I know that mental health assistance is something that I really need. And I hope that I'm wrong and she's wonderful and we get on really well. Fingers crossed. I've been modeling for seven years now. I'm confident of my curves. I'm proud of my curves. Yeah, pretty much confident in everything I do. Sarah Rout revels in her status as a big, beautiful woman. I want to do um, a, a biographic book. I want to bring out a perfume and other sort of stuff like key rings and posters and stuff. I weigh about 28 stone and my dress size is about 30. Sarah's weight comes with potentially fatal medical problems. I worry about my weight a lot. I've been to the doctors and they said that I'm probably at risk of a heart attack. Um, so. And, and diabetes. And diabetes. Yeah. Um, I'm suffering with sleep apnea at the moment, so I'm, I've got to go to the hospital to sort my monitor, sleep monitoring out. So I'd have to probably sleep with a, a machine. Do it. Do it. Come on, Jack. Come on. 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 Come